Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks for the Quest 2. So yes, today we're going to be looking at the tips and tricks for the Quest 2. Now some of these are freaking golden nuggets. Now if you are lucky enough to maybe have got one of these for Christmas, or perhaps you've owned one for a long time, you're still going to find some of these tips and tricks helpful, don't you worry. Because some of these even I didn't know for the first few months of owning a Quest. So, you know, they're going to be helpful. If you do find any of this helpful, then please do smash that like button. And of course, if you know someone who's just got themselves a quest, be sure to send them this video because it's going to help you get customized with your quest and also show you some of the epic things that it can do and hidden features that, quite frankly, not enough people know about. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into this with the first tip. Now the first tip I wanted to tell you guys is how to get an even smoother resolution on your Quest 2 and it's super simple as well. All you have to do is go into your experimental features and click it over to 120 hertz instead of its regular 90 hertz mode. This will give you a smoother experience and on top of that it's just all around better. But beware because this will drain your battery a little bit faster and it's not supported by every single game but the majority have adopted this now and it gives you just that extra smoothness and quite frankly in my opinion it's worth a bit of extra battery drain because 120 hertz makes it smooth as butter on the eyeballs tip number two did you know that you can bring your sofa into your virtual reality space yes this is indeed true you can do that now so that you can plop down your buttocks on your actual sofa uh, and have a representation of that in vr and it couldn't be simpler all you have to do is go over to your experimental features once again pick the sofa icon and then you literally draw an outline of the base of your sofa and boop there you have it. Your sofa now appears in virtual reality and you can take a seat on your actual sofa, which is quite cool because if you're consuming content off of like the web or something like that in VR, then yeah, you can sit your butt down and relax and play and you know that you're not going to fall flat on your face when it happens because you've registered it in your play space. What will they think of next? Next tip, which is a good one, is referring a friend. If you refer a friend, you get a $30 bonus, or I think it's about 23 pounds in English, um, for referring a friend. Both of you get that, I mean, pretty cool really all you have to do to that is go into your app and there is a little link that you can click and you my friends can get 30 pounds free store credit to buy yourself a game and your friend too so refer a friend don't do that get someone else to get in a quest the next tip that we have is downloading games from your mobile i see this all the time that people think you can only buy the games and download them via your actual headset no 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 you can do it from the comfort of your own home download them straight to your headset so that when you put it on you can straight away jump into the game that you've just purchased so it couldn't be simpler on your smartphone you can find the oculus app once you jump into this and you purchase a game straight away you'll have the option to download it to your headset if you already own a game then you can go into the library and you can download your games directly from there to your headset nice and simple the next one is a simple one again but again not everyone knows how to do this without going through the menu if you want to take a screenshot of something you're doing in virtual reality so you can show it off to your friends put it up on your social media whatever you want to do with it you can do it nice and simple all you have to do is hold the oculus button and then pull the trigger and you will take a screenshot so you don't have to worry about going to the sub menu and trying to pick something out if you see that moment that you want to snap straight away nice and easy oculus button and trigger next up is comfort ratings now comfort ratings is a very important one especially for you newer vr users coming into vr please pay attention to this bit because it will save your butt. Now, when you're in the store, you'll be able to scroll down past the options and you will see a comfort rating. There is a wide variety of different comfort ratings. I've put them on screen for you so you can see them now. Make sure that you pay attention to these because if you're newer and you're not strong VR legged yet, then uh, trust me when I say this will save you some uh, money because you may not enjoy the experience if it's too extreme. So go for a little bit of something a little bit more comfortable to start with and then work your way up the comfort rating until you feel a bit more comfortable. Next up is changing your environment. You don't have to be stuck with just the original one they give you in the quest. No, 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 there is a whole bunch of them you can pick from, from space stations to all sorts of cool looking stuff. You can look like you're in Ready Player One or you can just stick with the original, but the option is there. All you have to do is jump into those settings once again, as you can see on screen and pick yourself one, download it, and beepity boppity boop, you got yourself a new home environment. 
Next up is a big one. Did you know that you can use your Quest 2 to play PC VR either wirelessly or with a link cable? It's really simple to do. I actually have an entire detailed video all about that that I will link down in the description. Uh, if you're more interested in learning out actually how to do that, then I will leave that down there. Go click the link and it will take you across to teaching you all about how to do that. But yes, indeed, the Quest 2 can be used as a PC VR headset. And oh my goodness, it is an experience to behold. So definitely go check this out if you have a powerful pc or laptop just go get this in your life because once again you're going to have your mind blown all over again if, if all you've experienced is from a quest 2 so far when you jump into pc vr and see the high fidelity graphics it's going to blow your mind so definitely be sure to check that out as i said link in description you can go check that full tutorial out and uh, it'll teach you how to do everything Another one that seems to pass people by quite often is the Quest 2 has full hand tracking. So yes, if you don't want to use your controllers whilst going through the menus and doing certain games, then yes, indeed, you don't need to use controllers. No, because you've got their freaking hand tracking that's built into it. So in order to enable this, you go through the menus as I'm showing you on screen, enable it, and then boom! you have hand tracking. Now I personally quite like this if I'm chilling out and just consuming content or something like that, then you can just put the controllers down, boom, just use your handy pandies and you haven't got to worry about having that or trying to some fumble around trying to find your controllers or whatever. It's just nice and easy hand tracking and it works amazingly. Plus, if you haven't checked out any of the hand tracking experiences like Elixir or any of those types of games, please go check those out because it's actually a, a bit of a mind bender of an experience to go out there and actually do stuff with your hands in VR without any controllers. Go do that. Next up is IPD adjustment. Now IPD adjustment is a very important one because it's the one that's going to determine whether you can see in VR. Um, so IDP is essentially the distance between your pupils, okay? When you set this, it's what's going to make it nice and clear for you and crisp. If you're looking through your lenses and you're seeing a bit blurry and it's not quite what you want to be able to see, uh, or giving you headaches or anything, that probably means you haven't got your IPD set correctly. Now to do this is really simple. In the headset, you have the three different settings that you can go from, one being 58, two being 63, three being 68. You can also balance between these spots to get a hotspot for you. Personally, in mine, I'm neither two or three. I have to go somewhere in between. Uh, if you just gently pull over the lenses, you can actually land in between those two points and make it comfortable for you and your viewing. If you want to find out how to measure your eyes, it's nice and simple. There's an app called Eye Measure. Download this on your iPhone or an Android and it will measure your pupil distance. And then from that point, you know exactly what your IPD is. Easy. PZ. The next one is another good tip. If you need to reset your position in VR, all you have to do is hold down the Oculus button. It will reposition you and snap you back to the right way around that you want to face. So if you end up facing a wall and you're a bit confused and you want to reset that view, like I said, hold down the Oculus button and you will snap back to facing the direction that you want to face and reset that view. It's a good one, especially in games, if you get a bit turned around and things start getting a bit out of control, then it gives you that control back and you can then be facing the correct direction and sort that problem out. Again, another good tip for you guys is when you're in virtual reality and you want to be able to see outside into the actual real world, say for instance someone wants to talk to you or an animal runs through or something crazy is going on, you can just simply double tap the side of your headset allowing pass through mode. It's as easy as double tapping the side of your headset and you'll be able to see through into the pass through and see the real world, which is quite useful if you just need to have a quick conversation with someone, grab a drink or anything else useful. It's so much easier. But again, I don't see a lot of people talking about this, so make sure that you know that, that feature is there and uh, pretty useful, especially for those drinks. Hydration is important, guys. Stay hydrated in VR. Next up is App Lab. Now, App Lab is a world of content that people seem to overlook all the time, either thinking that it's full of trashy games or that it's not full of good things. No, no, no. App Lab is actually full of really cool experiences on their way to getting to the main store. Some of these experiences are free, some are paid for, but it's kind of a hidden gem within the library. Now, if you want to search out something that you're specifically looking for on App Lab, it couldn't be simpler. All you have to do is type it into the search bar as I'm showing you 
you here and scroll down to the bottom and it will give you the options for the apps in App Lab. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a storefront for the App Lab at the moment. So the best way that you can do this is using the website that I've linked down below that shows you every single game that is on App Lab. And then you can search it directly from there and download Bishity Bosh. But don't overlook App Lab. It's not full of trash. It's actually got a lot of really cool gem games in there that are always going to kind of find their way to the store eventually. But it's quite a process to get a game on the Oculus Store. So um, it's kind of like a nice midway point where you can still play some really cool stuff. But like I said, there is a whole library out there of things to experience. So get in there, get involved. Now, if you don't enjoy an experience and you've played it for under two hours and you've owned the game for less than 14 days, you are entitled to refund the game. It's really simple to do it. All you have to do is go over to your purchase history, as I'm showing you on screen right now, and click refund. And as long as you're under that two hour allowance and under the 14 days that you've owned the game, you will get a refund for this, no questions asked. So it's a really cool thing to know that you can jump in and try a title out if you don't enjoy it and you really dislike it and you're under those limitations then you can definitely just refund it and get your money back and go spend it on the game that you're actually going to enjoy the next one is a big one and it's one that i beg you don't get wrong your lenses on your vr headset are very sensitive they <laughs> they do not want to be scratched and they can be scratched so easily so please do not pick up a piece of paper towel or your t-shirt to wipe over your lenses go and get yourself a microfiber cloth like the ones that you clean your sunglasses with and a quick tip with that as well is clean them in a circular motion always follow the same circle work your way to the middle and that way if you do put any micro scratches in there they'll all follow one direction and it won't be so painful to look through but trust me I know so many people that have scratched their lenses and live to regret it because it's much well it's a death sentence for the headset essentially if you do scratch those lenses so take care of them buy a cloth super inexpensive look after them and they will look after you too at the end of the day it is your portal into the virtual world so you need to look after them and on that note of protecting your lenses, one of the best investments that you can buy for your VR headset is a lens protector. Now, the reason I suggest this is because sunlight can absolutely destroy your headset. So buying a lens protector will stop that happening. Now you can buy them pretty inexpensively from places like VR Cover or other third party places. But if you're interested in the VR Cover one I've shown you in this video, there are referral links down below. And as I said, the next tip is don't play your headset outside. Now you might be tempted to do this because it is a completely wireless experience that you can take anywhere. But hear me out, if the sunlight goes on those lenses, even on a cloudy day, it can burn the screens. It happens all the time. So many people have lost their headsets from doing this. So quite simply put, don't play it outside. <laughs> if you really feel the need to get out to nature, then go out in your conservatory, clear some space in your garage and get out in the fresh air that way with some cover over you. But trust me, as I said, even on a cloudy day, if the sunlight goes on those lenses or you leave them somewhere exposed in a window or something, it will destroy the screens and that's it. Goodbye headset, it's all gone now. So look after your headsets. Simple things like a lens protector seem so obvious, but at the same time, so many people don't use them and wish they had. So don't learn the lesson the hard way, take it from me. Other than that guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video. I hope some of these tips and tricks have helped you out or surprised you with things that you didn't know that you could do on your quest. Uh, I would be super happy to do another one of these types of videos. There are probably other things that I haven't covered. Uh, if you know any of them that I haven't covered, please do tell them down below in the comments. And uh, if there's enough of them, then perhaps I'll do a second video. Or if anything else, then people can look down in those comments and find some other helpful hints and tips that we may not have known in the first place. Anyway, that's enough from me talking today. If you are a new Quest user, then congratulations and welcome to the VR family. And um, trust me, you're in for a world of experiences and fun that uh, it's only just beginning. Okay, 2022 is going to be one hell of a year for VR and I'm excited to be here on this journey with you guys. If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing. Other than that, I'll catch you in the next video. Roll out